Brown Cow. What's up, babies? Thursday greetings flying out at you. Ah, uh, who's pumped for the weekend? This is your boy Money Flippin' Matt Richards running out the clock till we finally get to rock. I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Really and truly. Hope you stay dry today if you're on the East Coast and especially if you're in Florida. We hope you stay safe. We want all our players and all our lovers of knowledge in fine form for tonight's quiz. Fine form! Good form, Jack! <laughs> if you've played HQ before, expect the same old deal. We ask you 12 questions, you know some of them, and then you sweat through the others. And an exceptional few of you make it to the top, where you'll split $5,000 in prize money. Oh yeah! 5K! Or you buy a VIP ticket and get in the game for bigger payouts. $1,250 is going to be split among the VIP winners, which should be a small number since we'll sell no more than 120 tickets. Last night's VIP winners got $200 each. That is nothing I would turn down. Really? Ask my agent. Okay, and as long as we see, <laughs> as long as we sell 80 tickets, VIP mode is gonna happen, okay? So don't delay. Our week of charities, suggested by HQDs, charges on with Bonton Farms, providing that, proving that a farm can redefine a community. Bonton Farms began as a garden in a small lot in Dallas's economically depressed Bonton neighborhood, but has grown into two fully functioning farms, a market, cafe, coffee house, and farmer's market. So HQ is donating five cents for every player tonight to Bonton Farms with our thanks and admiration. Check them out at bontonfarms.org because they can always use more kindness. Yeah. It's lit. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's what's going on with me? Um, you know, just taking care of my fish and my dogs and my cats. I know some of y'all saw the cat wall I set up. Uh, I had a major breakthrough today with Sade. That's my black cat that was rescued back in February. She finally climbed the wall. She's been scared for the longest. She's like, no, I don't trust it. You put that up? Who taught you how to find studs in a wall? But uh, we got through it. Ah, all right, now, are you all set to install the ink cartridges on tonight's quiz and see what prints out? I'm all pumped up. This quiz is a good one, and I know the prize money doesn't want to wait any longer. So forward we go! <laughs> I hope you learned some random facts today from Twitter or Snapple Caps, because you'll need them to finish this one. Screw your head on tight, forget the outside world for a few minutes. Now there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Facebook will soon roll out what long-awaited feature on a large scale, dark mode watch party or immersive VR timeline. What's it gonna be? Hmm? Time! Watch parties are hot right now, so get to work on that, Zuckerberg. But while they're not able to immerse you yet, they're close to saving your eyes with dark mode. Yeah. Different paces for different apps. 26,192 of y'all got that right. Dark mode. Dark mode. <laughs> Q2. Who recently admitted to writing and recording a rock album in secret during the 90s? Britney Spears, Mariah Carey, or Lauryn Hill? Not gonna lie, I would love to hear a rock album from any one of these ladies. All right, sometimes you just gotta rock, okay? You just gotta rock, babies. And if it will hurt your image, you do it in secret. That's what Mariah Carey did with Chick, which was a kind of fake character record she, she's talking about now. Yeah. Whoo! 21,714. No Mariah Carey on my wayward son, though. <laughs> Mariah Carey on my wayward son! Okay. Q3! The Gap received backlash for commenting on the election with what kind of clothing? Blue underwear, blue and red hoodie, or red caps? What's it gonna be? Even if you're trying to unite everyone, getting involved in politics looks bad for any business. So even the good intentions cause people to question the Gap's blue and red hoodies. Yeah. It's just not worth it, guys. 17,799 of y'all got it right. Blue and red hoodies. YG and Nipsey coming together. Okay. Q4, knocking on your door. Which game does not come packaged with tiny plastic vehicles? 
Axis and Allies, Game of Life, or Millie Borns? What's it gonna be? Ooh, yeah. What is it going to? Time. Travel is a theme in all of these, whether you're pushing the plastic car through the simulated life or deploying the fleet to Yugoslavia. But really, Borns is played entirely with cards. 16,428 of y'all got it right. It's a car race simulated with cards that goes against nature. Q5 for the children. Here we go. Which nation is closest to Australia? Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, or Indonesia? Who's it gonna be? Oh yeah, here is a shocker. New Zealand's only the 12th closest at over 2,500 miles away. Indonesia's closer, but the spike on the top of Australia points to Papua New Guinea at a distance of under 1,500 miles. Ask Ken Jennings, maps are fascinating. 8,880, y'all got that right. 808, boom, big shock. Well, tight Asni, he's got the frisbee. Okay. <laughs> the tingo scra. Question number six. What nation has the most Olympic medals per capita? Grenada, Liechtenstein, or Monaco? Looking for the nation with the most Olympic medals per capita. Lots of records here. Monaco is the smallest country to participate in the games, though they've never medaled. The smallest country that has a medal is Grenada, but Liechtenstein's 10 medals makes them the answer here. Gotta be famous for something. 10,836 in the mix. Yeah, babies! Q7! Woo! <laughs> Manatees nurse their young from a teat located where? Armpit, neck, or tail fin? I am mature. Manatees do. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Manatees do have pretty exceptional necks. They're one of very few mammals without seven neck vertebrae. Did you know this? Their nipples, however, are located just under their flippers. In what we'd call the armpit. Yep, oh wow, 10,561 of y'all knew that weird manatee fact. Armpit nipples, uh, that would be a very tough sell for human babies. <laughs> hey girl, you sweaty or is it time to feed the baby? Uh, all right, question number eight. Oh. Whew, that's just, that's just picturing manatees. Oh, all right. Q8, the director of what movie also auditioned a horror movie lead by having kids attack him? Forrest Gump, Jaws, or Superman? Oh. Sometimes an evil kid needs to be seen to be believed. That's how Richard Donner cast Damien in The Omen a few years before he directed Superman. Yes, oh, my manatee! <laughs> That's the seventh question. Manateets. <laughs> Woo! We have fun here. All right, 1,452, y'all got that right. He took heavy damage from Harvey Stevens and promptly hired him. Q9. A Saturday morning edition of Hollywood Squares had celebrities mainly dressed as which of these? Book characters, cartoon characters, or movie characters? What's it gonna be? All right, in the history of dumb ideas, there's gotta be a place of honor for a kid's version of the Hollywood Squares called the Storybook Squares. Yep, book characters. 5,574, y'all got that right. Because Charo and Paul Lindy always bring kids running to the TV. Lined? Paul Lined? Paul Lindy? I never know how to say that. Q10, my friends! Time to get it in. 
The highest numbered chemical element with an official name is named for which of these? Institution, person, or place? What's it going to be? Time! Most elements are named after one of these three things. And the most recent honoree is Yuri Ognesian. Yes, eminent physicist and person. He is also a person. 4,246, y'all got that right. Only Ognesian uh, and Cyborgium were named for living people. So stick that in your Bunsen and burn it. Oh, two more questions until the final prize is divvied up. Who's ready for this? Q11. All dogs go to heaven. The part inside the crust of a loaf of bread shares a name with a famous what? Cartoonist, environmentalist, or keyboardist? What is it going to be? Any baker will tell you there's an official industry name for the stuff like that. Uh, remove the crust and what's left is called Crumb. No relation to underground cartoonist Robert Crumb. 2,507 of you got it right. That means 2,507 players are moving on to the final question. Also, Robert's into the harder bread. Little fun fact about my man Rob. Really loves that hard bread. All right, final question of the evening. This one's for all the marbles, babies. Don't fudge it up. You can do it. The man who got the first points at, a, at any Super Bowl played under what kind of first and last name? Alliterative, equal length, or rhyming? All right, though, a fairly Unremarkable athlete catching a 37-yard pass from Bart Starr and running it to a touchdown was the big career achievement of the Green Bay Packers' Max McGee. An historic and alliterative name. Oh my God! Yeah! 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 Rocket ships. <laughs> 421 winners! So I creep, yeah, just keeping it on the down low. Got nipples in my armpits. <laughs> yeah, babies! Congratulations to 421 of y'all. Everybody's walking away with $11.88. Emma Jack, Clement Seven, Boss God Key, Bermuda Joe, Math Wiz, Mar Marry Him, Marry Him. Okay, yeah, do it. Ellen 63, Thingy, <laughs> Loki, Ziga, Ziga Ziga. Just to name a few. Good job, y'all. Y'all did that. $11.88 on a Thursday? Wow. I appreciate you. Well, I hope that was as rewarding for you as it was for the winners. Don't forget, knowledge is a form of wealth, okay? And you always learn stuff playing HQ, so come on back whenever. The charity again is Bonton Farms, re-energizing a Dallas neighborhood with fresh food, work, and purpose. Go to bontonfarms.org. Here it is. Ooh-wee. Yeah. That's how you get more info and slip them a little something. Tell them the Money Flipper sent you. Yeah. Until next time, this is Money Flipper Matt Richards saying, I bet Shakespeare would have written more clearly if he knew how many high school papers would be assigned on him. Huh? Lord, what fools these mortals be. Baby. Baby. <laughs>